We're in the rainy season with more chances of storms, and that means more chances for your home to potentially be damaged. But what if you and your insurance provider can't agree on what needs to be fixed or how much you should get paid? 10 Tampa Bay's Josh Adoritz has a warning from a couple in Lutz. They've been battling for nearly three years to get the hole in their living room roof repaired. When it rains, it pours inside Marine Whitlock's Lutz home. And this has become the ritual. While this is the sound of the one that follows. When it rains, it's very scary. It's not, you know, oh, listen to that nice rainfall on the roof. It's, oh my God, we've got to do something to prevent any more damage. They say severe storms in 2018 left them with a leaking roof. And when a contractor finally started the work, the damage discovered turned out to be significantly worse. Their insurance provider, USAA, tells 10 Tampa Bay this boils down to a dispute over how much is owed. The Whitlocks say it's about what actually needs to be fixed. Bottom line, the only thing that's appeared to have changed in the past three years is the amount of tarping on the roof. We have a home that is barely livable right now. And while their particular problem may be unique, it's a situation that's likely going to be a lot more common here for a lot of us as we head into the rainy and the stormy season, which is why they have this warning for you. Look at what the insurance company is saying to you. They have their adjusters. They have private adjusters that work for them. None of those people are working in your best interest. They hired their own public adjuster who also has this advice for homeowners who he says usually make the mistake of telling their insurance providers too much. Well, they can use it against you. And you may say, well, I have had a roof leak before in that room. This is an ongoing leak, which is excluded from your policy when the two aren't related really, but you've given them the ammunition to deny or underpay your claim. Wow, so USAA wouldn't tell us anything more about this situation because the Whitlocks are now suing them. A new bill may change the insurance process here in Florida. Let's take a deeper dive. Senate Bill 76 arrived on Governor Ron DeSantis' desk today. The bill paves the way for potential surcharges for customers of citizens' property insurance. It would also crack down on contractors who go door-to-door -door encouraging homeowners to file claims for a new roof. Now, last year alone, insurance companies saw more than 100,000 lawsuits filed against Florida property insurers. Experts say most of them were from suspect contractors selling those repairs door-to-door.